the fashion world is booming, popping, burning down as Banksy, the artist, the notoriously secretive and reserved artist about their own identity, sends thieves to steal everything out of a guest store. Why? Hmm. Subscribe to my channel first and foremost. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Day Cabal spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you're all invited to join the live chats. Cue it in. Flooded fam. There you go. <laughs> How's it going? So y'all, this is the news basically. Apparently, allegedly, and everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, just my opinion, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged. So Banksy, the notoriously secretive artist, uh, you know, who leaves drawings on buildings and civil drawings, sketches, graffiti, spray-painted, black bodies doing stuff. Uh, or painted or spray-painted? I think they're spray-painted. Anyway, it doesn't matter, darling. What matters is that apparently and allegedly guess took Banksy's designs or graphics and placed them within their fashion collection as a collaboration with Brandalized. So it's like Guess X Brandalized with graphics by Banksy, but Banksy apparently never gave them right, the rights to, to use his, his, hers, their graphics. Um, so... So what happened was um, Banksy then retaliated and said, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let me show you what he did or they or them. But anyway, so then Banksy posts this and says, attention, all shoplifters uh, and goes on to say or to write, please go to guess on Regent Street. Uh, they've helped themselves to my artwork without asking. How can it be wrong for you to do the same to their clothes? So basically, there was a call to action saying, hey, since Guest did not get permission by Banksy to use Banksy's graphics for the storefront and on the, on the apparel, well then, they stole Banksy's work. So if, if they think it's okay to steal Banksy's work, then they must be okay with shoplifters stealing their clothes. So what happened next is allegedly guests in Regent Street had to close the store <laughs> because of, uh, I guess, because of the huge shoplifting <laughs> momentum that was kind of rushing through. Um, interesting, in it, in it, in it, interesting. Banksy is a hoot, says Coco Kitty, right? Sonny Secret says, that's so dumb, he only had to send a bill to them. Like I should send a bill to the Dutch television station that used my video without even crediting me. Sonny Secret says, that's a copyright breach. Well, not really. Technically, it's not. Because uh, as far as I understood, I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, but... Banksy doesn't want their identity to be known, right? So the stuff isn't copywritten. The these these designs are not copywritten. They're not. They don't have a trademark on them. They're not um, protected. So in order for them to be protected and connected to a particular artist, the artist needs to give their identity. The artist needs to say their name or whichever legal authority they've given rights to do it for them needs to do that for them. But then you could trace it back to them and find out who they are, I guess. So I'm, what I'm thinking is, if I understood this correctly, um, there's no copyright. So maybe guests didn't know how to contact Banksy because Banksy doesn't want to be contacted. I don't know. Those artworks belong to publishing company. Guess has collaborated with allegedly, says Jesus. Interesting. Steph says, you have a copyright in your artwork as soon as it has been created and fixed in a tangible object. Right. 
but if you don't exist, you don't have the copyright. See? If you don't exist, then everybody can claim that copyright. If because Banksy is an invented name, it's it's an invented persona. For all we know, Banksy doesn't exist. So how can you claim copyright if you don't exist? Emotion Engine says, I think a lot of pictures he uses in his work are not his or theirs. Well, that's also a good point. I don't know. I don't know. But so, okay, so some of you think it's not good that Banksy called uh, to action. Um, some of you think it was funny. Um, oh my God, I hope none of the shoplifters got in trouble, says Mangalore Drew. Could you imagine? Now that's art, says Cyber Coco. Exactly. Here's the next picture. So this is a couple of the um, apparel pieces that you can allegedly buy, I guess, with the uh, brandalized brand and uh, graphics by Banksy in some cases. Um, Catherine says, brilliant, go Banksy. Nicole says, he owns the copyright regardless of his anonymity. Nicole says, trademarks are a different story though. Okay, how do you know? It's his copyright. Anybody can go to a building outside and stencil out or spray paint um, a human body doing something. You have to become public to activate the copyright. Otherwise, how can you activate the copyright if you're not public? How can you activate? You have to activate the copyright. Like if you want to legally complain about, you have to you have to be public. A says Banksy was part of a culture jam movement. His art is a political or anarchist statement. He would deeply disapprove of a corporation making money off of his art. Good point. Which means that's why this whole concept of, hey, shoplifters, go take all the stuff out of the store. Brilliant, go Banksy, says Catherine. She says, Brandalized owns those artworks. He can get as mad as he wants, but he sold them to the company, says Jesus. Interesting point. Tina says, that's just wrong, like stealing. Coco Kitty says, it's a great way to respond and add to the discourse about stolen art. Yeah, it's an interesting point, Coco Kitty. Definitely, definitely. A says, oh my God, this goes against everything Banksy stands for. He is anti-capitalist. Sonny Seeker says, yes, good question. He has the mold only, right? Wednesday says, what if I make an art piece, say I'm Banksy, and then copyright it? Ooh, interesting. Interesting. So you want to be... So you would come out as Banksy. So you would say, hey, I'm Banksy. This is my identity. Uh, this is my true name. I'm claiming copyright over there. <laughs> Could you imagine? Loophole! <laughs> that would be the day. It would be a hilarious day, but that would be the day. I mean, technically, what you're saying... I don't know if it would legally be possible in every country, but... Logically speaking, it makes sense what you're saying to me. It's hilarious, though. That's going to force him to reveal his identity, says Jesus. Trina says, can you copyright an anonymously if you have used an attorney and they use a pseudonym? Can you copyright anonymously if you have used... Possibly. Nicole can help us with that. Steph says, he, aut he automatically owns his art copyright regardless if he's anonymous. However... To enforce his copyright, he would have to reveal his real identity. That's what I was saying. In order to prove he is the unquestionable owner. Exactly. Okay, Nicole also says yes. That's what I was saying. Was I saying, was I not being clear? Maybe I was like, maybe the way I formulated it sounded really like stupid. But yeah, what Steph, what Steph is saying. That's the, that, that. What Steph just wrote. That's, that's what I was saying. 
as well. You don't have to do anything for copyrights to sign secret. Uh, Frenic Code says, I mean, Banksy sells his art in Sotheby's. You guys, but there's a difference though. He owns his art, right? The artist has the copyright, but Kim not Bindo Banksy. $10. Love all of your videos and love the live stream. Thank you for sharing your love and knowledge. Much love to you. I'm looking for where, where the pop is. Thank you so much, sweetie. For the, Wait, I have them here. Let me hold on. Okay, so the person who did the art piece owns the copyright, but that person doesn't own Banksy. Like, that person did not claim ownership of Banksy. Do you know what I'm talking about? So I think that's a loophole right there. Let me pop your cherry, sweetie. Thank you so much for the super, for the, for no, for the donation, actually, for the tip. Oh my God. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, girl. It popped all over me, honey. Oh, yes, queen. Living ferret. Oh, this is a moment. Cha. Wow. It popped. <laughs> um. Nicole says copyright automatically attaches. He owns his work, but he won't be able to sue for infringement without blowing his identity. He had to prove it. Exactly. So anybody can be Banksy until he says, no, I'm Banksy. Hmm. So Banksy should just come out. It's about time. Right, Michael? Just like, uh, what's that uh, weird Twitch person's name with the weird smiley face um, that finally came out uh what was his uh dream remember dream came out a couple of weeks ago and then everybody made fun of him because he looked like rumple steel skinned <laughs> poor guy he didn't deserve that but um could you imagine if banksy came out and we find out it was like <laughs> could you imagine it was trump <laughs> everybody's like donald you were banksy you got to be kidding me <laughs> <laughs> that would be such a moment though that would be such a moment yeah dream reveal was bullied totally but it was hilarious though like oh my god the memes of dream putting the mask down with that with the... <laughs> that was such a moment but could you imagine donnie as banksy oh my god hilarious that would be the day um <laughs> the guy doesn't even look bad people are so mean people are super mean yeah i agree uh, that's what they, welcome to the world of the internet of the interwebs where people are meanies Stining secret says he spray paints on molds and probably has video material they stole the door in paris um where the shooting was he painted a girl on the door also he sold also he sold his work at what was it Sotheby? Yeah, yeah, and yes, 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 we know. And then also the 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 the, uh, the the destruction of the art piece the second that it was purchased, that whole kind of shebang. Uh, Boba 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 says even better. Banksy's Roseanne, the Burke and Chanel was the first clue. Roseanne Bar is Banksy. Oh my God, that would that brilliant 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 could you imagine trump climbing anything to spray paint no that's why the spray that's why it's always at the bottom of the houses it's always at the root at the base of the house very easy very easy fantastic easy to spray paint <laughs> oh ampersand says banksy aside so many artists have been ripped off by clothing designers over the year years using their art without permission yes also true um Totally true. Someone call Saturday Night Live, says Julie Scott. Uh, Saturday Night Live, call Jacob, because he's a hoot. Subscribe. Never go up on love. 